Welcome back for another episode of Iron Curtain Grades Our Shit. This is kind of a hybrid episode as I'm taking an idea that we have seen in quite a few other places and I've added some of our own flair to it and tried to shore up some of what I thought were the critical deficiencies. So what we have is the shoebox. This is an interesting concept. I'm curious to see how it's going to play out. The basic idea being that the Zeds will come up these stairs here feed into a wall of blades and then have to hack their way through all of these solid steel plates to get us standing all the way at the back there just shooting down the hall. It kind of plays off some of the themes from the Escape from Alcatraz video we posted a few weeks ago with a little bit of a different twist. Um, I'm still using the electric fencing as Xavier used in Alcatraz. There's a little bit less of it here, but I think it's still going to get the job done. The blade traps should deliver quite a bit of damage as the Zeds are tracking in. And I'll take you guys around to the other end, give you a view of what's going on here on our side. So, the five of us will be standing back here, just shooting down this hallway. Should make for a pretty uh, straightforward evening. As you can see, the wiring apparatus is... Similar to what Xavier did with the electric fencing, it's all doubled down and multi-sided, so hopefully things will hold up as they need to. The other side being pretty much identical. A little bit of relay work to extend for some of the blade traps. I've tried to avoid daisy chaining wherever possible, so everything is wired independently. So any one component blowing out shouldn't shut down any other part of the system. I think in terms of durability, this is going to score pretty well. There's a lot here to break, but uh, all of this stuff's pretty tough. So unless we are dumb enough to set off a chain reaction of demo guys in the doorway there, we should come out all right. The one thing I decided to take a whack at this time was rather than doing an underground access or anything crazy like that, was to stretch the entryway off of an existing POI. It should divert some of the attention on the base itself if they decide to uh, get really interested in this ladder. And if they do, they're just going to plummet uselessly down to the bottom. But the idea being here, you come up the ladder on the other building here. Boop. Come across. Open the drawbridge. And you're good to go. Easy peasy. Nothing too out of the ordinary here, nothing too crazy. Like I said, this plays on a couple of different themes that we've seen in various other places that we wanted to... Test out, see what we could get the uh, results to look like at the end. Hopefully this thing holds up fairly well. As you can see, I've also lined it with a barrage of spikes. The ones on the back here are for killing, but I'm also interested to see if they hack at this back door while we're standing there. If anything that spawns in this direction views this back wall as an easier path than going through everything else. I think that actually might happen, given the fact that those steel plates are there, and if they recognize those steel plates as being full blocks, I think we're seeing a pretty good chance of that occurring. So mostly I've set these spikes here up as sort of a sound alert. If we hear them chewing on these spikes, we can respond accordingly. Yes, I could wire up this whole thing, put a camera, put an alarm system, yada, 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 but that seemed a little over the top for a little test base like this, so I'm not too worried about going quite that far. The rest of this is just to get in some licks where we can. If anything happens, decide to start chewing on the sidewalls. Or, what is more likely, as they're dragging past this, trying to get to the front door, they might trigger a few of those and take a little bit of freebie damage. Same with the ones out front here. So all in all, uh, I'm cautiously optimistic. Hopefully this thing holds water. For supplies needed, I'm going to say like a D+. It's not the biggest base in the history of the world. Obviously, a lot of the components in it are fairly expensive. We used quite a bit of steel in the construction. Quite a bit of iron in all of these spikes. There's the wiring components. So this is by no means a starter base. This is late, mid-game, early end-game, that kind of thing. You kind of got to have your act together to get something like this up and running. So it's not a freebie. It's certainly not some sort of cobblestone wedge tip wall base. But theoretically, I think if everything holds up here and there's no surprises, it's also going to do pretty well on the cheese rating. This is another one where we're taking kind of the spirit of the game and extending it out. The, the plates thing is a little bit glitchy, maybe, because they still have to crawl through them. Obviously... Not a whole lot's going to figure out to kind of squeeze between these. That's not really possible. But other than that, I think this comes across pretty clean. So, yeah, we'll say uh, a D plus or so for supplies needed. As far as build difficulty goes, uh, I'm going to say a C. This took a little bit of time. There's a lot of concrete mix uh, going into this. There's a lot of 
just layer after layer after layer and as you know if you've watched any of our other videos I like to build as redundantly as possible so everything is layered a little thicker than it even appears to be. I feel like that's a case of better safe than sorry and another example of as I've said in previous videos you get what you pay for so hopefully some of that investment pays off and we don't see the front end of this thing in particular collapsing into a fine powder uh, early on in the evening. We'll be recording the Horde Night here in a little bit and let's see how she does. 21.55, just about, and we are all stacked up here waiting for the Horde Night. It's not the uh, the largest uh, amount of space we've ever had to work with, but there should be enough here for us to stand so shoulder to shoulder. Social distancing be damned. We're going to hug it out for this one. And uh, <laughs> let's see how long it takes us to pop a demo guy to fuck this whole thing just to Sunday. Goodbye, lawnmower traps. Oh, here we go. Just don't have to open fire quite yet. These there traps should go. do a pretty admirable job of fucking their day up. He, he kind of came up and then went back down, though. Yeah, he just wandered off. Put a round in there. Let's see what happens. Well, that's fun. <laughs> Just watch him get jostled around. This is fucked. Well, conceptually, that seems to be doing pretty well. We probably can take a little bit of the load off of these traps, no lie. Now they can do every inch of the work. I like getting these spiders just <laughs> tossed around in there. I love two of them jumping directly into the same blade. Yeah, that's fun. You got electrified and blended. It's the weirdest thing you can order at Jamba Juice. It sounds like we got shit on the left. I'm gonna go take a peek. There you are know, other... I wondered where Taco Bell got out of their meat from. I expect that they're gonna be dragging past that a little bit. It's funny you say that now. My local Taco Bells are closed. Can't reach that from here. Oh well. Anybody Hi, seen uh, Tiger King and where he got the uh, old meat from? I refuse to watch that crap. <laughs> if I want to go see white problem. trash be white trash, I'll just step outside. That's a stunning endorsement of the East Coast. Well, you know. The East Coast, but just far enough south for that to matter. Alright, I'm gonna take a little flight peek here and see what's happening. Okay, they are. They're dragging past those spikes. Generally, a couple of them got hung up on the sides here. And, but they do seem to be tracking gradually to the front door. Sort of what we saw with down, Alcatraz. So. They're slowing them down and they, they get kind of clustered up on them. You know, my being out here is fucking that up a little bit, so I'm going to head back inside. But they do seem to want to come to the front door in general anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch to the triple flip. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering if anybody else caught that. Kids love a gymnast. <laughs> Jesus. They are getting ate yeah. up down there, that's for sure. My computer isn't hibernating yet, so we're all good <laughs> Well, it's because X didn't design this base, so there isn't a uh, physical revulsion of your computer to working with X. Ouch. <laughs> oh, damn. I know it's horrible you know and everything, but shots fired. You know what, Hells? You walk your own uh, ass. I, hey, d I didn't say it, dude. <laughs> we gotta let Hells design one of these. It's just gonna be a stainless steel cube in the middle of nowhere that we have to just shoot down the sides. Total durability test. That could actually work. <laughs> he designs the base for me and then falls in love with it. I wouldn't say in love, but I mean... I feel like if you made it big enough, you wouldn't have a problem with it collapsing. We don't need more stainless steel cheap bases. Oh, yeah, I'm saying you, you could do that. You could do that. that. You could do a huge block out of legit steel. It would be expensive, but, you know, do like a 20 by 20 square out of legit steel. Let them have no choice but to come bang on the edges. Throw it. Yeah. Sink that down a few levels so it's supported by more than just, you know, dirt. Actually get it down to stone and build up. Build it six or seven blocks high, and you're good to go. Shit, I think I just programmed an episode. X, if it makes you feel better, I feel like if my computer were to participate in any base designed by Nev, it would just explode. <laughs> it explode or like douse itself in bleach and short out? I'm not really sure. We're we're talking full on. You you know what happens to a lithium ion battery when it's exposed to oxygen? <laughs> 
I, I'm gonna have to pan past the window on the Fernasium here before this episode ends now. <laughs> People just are not gonna understand that, but maybe we'll cut away to this or something. So if you go inside of our main cheat base here, we've all got our little private quarters going through. They're pretty stock, nothing too crazy here. And then you get to the Fernasium. This is Neverwind. I just... Just, just... Welcome just... to my abode. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, this is gross. Let's, let's do it. You got the dirty mattresses, the chains. Oh, are you in the bloody bathtub and also chained? And, uh, yeah, do the math on it. Hey, careful. Don't, don't go too high. You're a bad man. You're, you're bad. Bad never one. You know the brother in the red book on Mist? Oh, for <laughs> fuck. I maintain that those people chain themselves up in there. Oh my god. I'm not sure that makes it better. Yeah, probably a dildo point. I think that just makes you inattentive at that point. <laughs> inattentive? <laughs> Are they dry aging? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> is it is it dry, though? Is it really dry? We've gone from weird fucking sex dungeon to flat-out cannibalism. Okay! Jesus Christ. All right, so, you can uh, tell this base I mean, is working when the... that's where the conversation goes. How am I supposed to fucking edit this episode? Oh my god. <laughs> Knock on concrete, but we're not seeing demos. You said it. I know, but I kind of, right. I mean, I want to get a couple at least so we can get a legit test. Not that I don't like killing first, these hoodie fucks, but still. First one I see, I'm shooting the chest. You douche. <laughs> then it's a real test. Okay, pretend it's a real test by someone who knows how to play the goddamn game. Right, so the first it. demo, hit him with a uh, explosive bolt. Motherfucker. Deal. Tell that to uh, to Hells when we were testing the first version of Alcatraz. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just standing at the end of the hallway and spawning a bunch of demos isn't a test. You have to interact with the. No, we didn't. They killed themselves. You have to interact with the horde, Brutal. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 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 Fired. Are there any hospitals that aren't full? We've got someone here who needs a trip to the burn ward. I honestly feel like I should apologize for that. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm waiting. <laughs> you ain't gonna get it. Yeah, it but I, I could have told like you that. that. That admission of some level of shame is the best you're gonna do. Take the win. <laughs> yeah, right. No shit. I like that we're far enough away that they aren't spitting at us. Yeah, that was intentional. I kind of wanted to balance it out between not making so much in front of us that they wouldn't track, but also get that non-spit distance. That dog just did you know, a see the dog back. <laughs> I know, I shot it in the face. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to take another little trip outside and see how we're doing on the exterior. There's Giant a... holes in the side, probably. Bird Stop hump in the hatch. Um, yeah, they don't like these spikes, but they, you know, they're, they're taking swings at these spikes, but they are dragging past this crap. These traps are in decent shape from the look of it. Can I get a repair on this one? How's this doing? Nope. A little too close. They're spinning normally, it looks like. Yeah. It's doing very well. I'm not getting a repair prompt on the, even the first one. Oh, they just spit one down, so... Did they? Uh, yeah. that one on the left right there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the first one just went down, too. Okay. That's... that's... To be expected, there's no way that all of those are hanging out all night. Now, with that blade trap gone, are they gonna start to see that as an alternative route to the side there? Are we gonna get a repeat of the Alcatraz pathing? It looks like they're going for they're it. They're trying to. Yeah, I'm going to test. Let's see what's happening here. A little dinged up, but nothing serious. Just in care, just out of curiosity, we'll see if, I, if they punch this steel. We should hear metal breaking. Pretty happy with the way that electric fencing is performing. No lie. Oh yeah. This is kind of like the wedge tip uh, corridor there, where that fencing was doing really good work off the bat before it got. Eating up. I've always been a fan of those vertical swing, spinning blades. They're really good at protecting a surface. Whatever wall, I mean, that's just a good design principle in general. Whatever wall you're trying to protect, make it fight back. Or make it out stainless and kind of as cobblestone. <laughs> good day, everybody. Good idea. Thank you, though. Hmm. 
if you see it and make it a very boring base. Hooray! I beg to differ. I mean, this is just like range time for me. Uh, both the ones on the right side just passed the uh, damage threshold. Yeah. They're yeah, wobbling. They're long. Yeah, that's to be expected. There's a block here that's stage two concrete that may have been steel to start, so this may get interesting. Which one where? Uh, base of the very front, uh... Oh, ho, there they are! Oh, fuck. God damn it. Oh, okay. Well, well glad I missed that. Otherwise, I'd be crying. I'm gonna go run up top, take a little damage assessment. Yeah, I think that just liquefied. I, that, I hate the fact that the fence posts get screwed up. Through the walls. Still on it, yeah, still those on. are still going. All of the electric fencing is here. These these steel walls are getting chewed up. No lie. Oh shit. Okay, good. Oh uh, no, no. Boom. Damn. There are some bars. Yeah, he fell over and we couldn't hit him. That is a downfall. This thing. Yeah. Down. Careful. Don't shoot those things in the chest. Someone's going to have a post up on top. You can't get the the crawlers. Ah shit. He's gonna pop. Oh, what did that break? Ah, uh, shit, there's another one. Oh, bars. that was a lot of bars. Steel. Yeah, but it's the ceiling bars don't matter. It's the steel walls and stuff that I'm worried about. You know, realistically, with the traps gone, we could probably all come here and stand at the edge of this plate ceiling and just clean house for the remaining hour and a half. Keep somebody on bird watch, we should be fine. Of course, this is going to massively up the ammo count for the night, but oh well. I have no idea where that is. That guy got blown up to me. Hi. This is kind of interesting. It's turned into like a death funnel where they have to come in here to try to get to us, but it's just a shooting gallery then. Oh, oh shit. He's dead. Oh no, not my dirt. <laughs> I did that one on purpose. Okay, I think we've hit the end oh, of the I think we killed them all. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's take a little stock here. So these doors are intact. Nothing ever, or these walls, I should say. Nothing ever got through these walls. They're jacked up. This one doesn't have a ton, a half. These, ow. That's right, I put electric fencing there. These first row of plates are in great shape. They did minimal damage there. This corner is obviously pretty fucked up. And you can see where the explosion started blowing out some of these electric fence poles, which I hate. Like, I don't think like that shockwave should damage things behind it the way that it does. But, alright, whatever. Oh yeah, so this front right corner is pretty fucked up in general. The... Besides the base, that's a that's a pretty good dose of spitter damage there. Yeah. Let's see how the back fare. They chewed on the back a bit, but nothing catastrophic. The one block back here that took any good hits is at 35-31 of 5,000. So that was in no danger of going anywhere. The other side is virtually unscathed, so all the traffic was over there. These front spikes and everything obviously ate it. The traps all ate it. But other than that, this was pretty clean. No real serious unexpected damage. I had hoped that the front end here would come out in better shape than it did, but it certainly isn't a catastrophic fail. So for the durability grade, I'm thinking like a C. It yeah. held up pretty well. It could be better. It could be a whole hell of a lot worse. Um, it, it kept us alive. It kept us alive. The core component where the players are standing is not in any danger. You know, the, the front part here that takes the brunt of everything obviously got pretty jacked up. I'm not a big fan of the way this trench here for the fencing got revealed. That's a little scary, but they didn't get through it. You know, eventually we had to come up top and do a little cleanup work out here. But even when we were outside standing up here, we were never in any danger. So it was it was generally fairly safe. Durability, I think, is a C. It's it's banged up, but it's not a huge repair job. But uh, it certainly it's certainly fixable. It could have performed better than it did. For are the Zeds controlled? 
uh, A, they yeah, tracked to the yeah. front door. It did what it was supposed to do. I think the yeah. damage along the back here was mostly from the ones spawning out here by the factory and running in. They bang up against the back wall here and then would slowly drag and track their way to the front door. That's not to be too terribly unexpected with a base this size and shape, so I'm not worried about that or I'm not upset by that performance at all. So I think Zed Control is a, is a nice firm A. No problems there. Are the players in danger? A. There was no yeah, danger. Not even a little bit. No, it, we, we were complaining about how it got boring before all the traps got blown up, but as demo guys and... There was no danger, even when he crawled out onto the roof, I never took any weird hits or anything like that. The base took all the hits for us, which is exactly what it's supposed to do, and it performed admirably there, so... Players in danger is another good A. Resources used. So let's check the gasoline first, per usual. We have a pair of generators running the power demands for this base. Obviously that's going to have been curtailed a little bit by all that shit getting blown out. The one... Ran just under 100 gas, and the other one, a little more than 100 all, oh, about 127-ish there. So, yeah, about 230, we'll call it, ballpark. That's not bad. For a base like this, with as many traps and fencing and everything as we got, two, 230 gas for a Horde Knight is nothing to get too worried about. I think that's an A. This certainly isn't, you know, a blender base or anything like that, where you're running 75 traps, or blade traps or nothing. So, 230 is quite manageable. There's no problem in securing that much gasoline. Ammo! Ammo is going to be a slightly different story. Uh, I used... It really slow, but got a it, little hair. It did. It started off really slow, really casually. Um, obviously, you don't want to let all of the blades do the work, or let the blades do all the work, because that just is going to shorten their lifespan that much. Uh, overall, not the cheapest night for me personally, but not the worst. Uh, I burned just about 1,900 rounds. Uh, Davian, what did you end up using? Um, I only used about 500. Okay. I did not kill full auto like everyone else did. Fair enough, fair enough. X? Uh, right about 1,300. Uh, Nev? Uh, I used, um, 350 20, bolts. Yeah, how much? 350 bolts and 1,900 rounds of ammo. Okay, not bad, not bad. And Murder Machine, Hells, what'd you end up burning? Only 1,400. Okay, so we are a sub-10k night. Uh, not the greatest performer we've ever had, but by no means the worst. We've spent three times as much easily, so... Ammo used, I think, uh, if no one objects, that's a, that's a B. It's not hard on ammo, it's not an ammo freebie night either. I think this is a reasonable amount of ammunition expended for... A day 77 base with five people. I, I, I'm i not too worked up about that. And for the cheese grade. What do we think we're looking at here? I don't think there's anything too terribly cheesy on this. The plates are a little... Greater. Wonky? Greater cheese. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just a cheese grater. Cheese, cheese grater. <laughs> yeah, right. I I honestly, I think if we're going to if we're gonna stick with the... I, I look like it hurt. If we're going to stick with the standards we've used in the past, uh, I nominate this for a baked potato. I don't see any cheese here. We, they didn't even get to the part with the cheese, so yeah. 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 And I, I you know, I don't ba think... Baked potato, baked potato with some extra sour cream. Extra sour cream. There's a little more dairy there. There's for cheese. <laughs> they get to the plates, they're going to start swinging through it, and that is kind of cheesy. But other than that, no. I mean... They got up to the plates it's and a... immediately turned left and tried to get into the hallway. It gets a passing grade on cheese because the cheese already didn't work. True, true. I, 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 part of me questions if the cheese would work if it were shorter, if there were less of this. Uh, that would obviously yeah. impact the spitter math, and we'd have been taking way more shots to the face, in the, especially in the early part. So it's kind of a six of one, six of one, half a dozen of the other equation. You can shorten it, you're probably going to have to deal with more spitter damage. Or you can lengthen it out, it's a little cheesier, and it's probably going to spin them into the walls a little faster. Knowing what we do now, having seen this performed, uh, I'd probably steal up the entirety of the front end, not just this interior chunk, and likely go as far out as I could and still have the electric fences connected. Chance of being patched out? Zip. There's nothing to patch there. This isn't a patching base. It's 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 the weirdest thing about this is just the fact that we mounted steel plates, you know, stacked up like this. That's not glitchy. That's not cheesy. That's not really breaking the AI. I don't think. Final grade. The build difficulty and the supplies needed were both 
uh, on the lower end because this took for quite a while, all things considered, because this is just a lot of layering. I was out here just dropping blocks for a long time. And the supplies needed, it's not monstrous, but it certainly is on the more expensive end. I don't think it's as bad as Alcatraz. It certainly doesn't touch the toilet. But compared to, uh -huh. like, the Raptor pen or the wedge tip corridor or anything like that, it's it's on the higher end. So it's it's kind of low mid in terms of build difficulty and supplies versus performance. You know, it did quite well in everything but durability, really. Yeah. Um, so balancing yeah. the two out, like a C plus maybe. That's yeah, that's what I was thinking. Right, pretty much smack dead center. A little yeah, little I, better than. It, it it's better than average. You can do worse than this by far. You can also do a lot better if you're willing to put the time in and you want to make things a little more creative or you know get a little more imaginative with it. But if you're just looking for a stock build, something you can erect in you know not too terribly long a time and not have to put a lot of thought or get too wild with the wiring or anything like that, I think you would be well served by this. It's it's not crazy. It's not complex. This this strikes me as kind of. Uh, of a, of a first time end game build you're just now getting into you know the upper end of the days and you're trying to get something that's going to subsist going to last past you know a, a day 60 a day 70 plus horde uh this is not a bad place to start off while you go gather resources for something a little more involved can we do better yes we already have but it worked. <laughs> <laughs> can we do worse can we do worse staring at wedge tip wall right over there that that's a mhm mm mhm mm so coming up we've got davian's uh fix for this wedge tip wall catastrophe he's taking this concept and spinning it up in some new and creative ways with what i have to say is an interesting take on visibility and how they're going to track to that thing and what happens when they arrive i'm really curious to see how that shakes out uh bonus that one is being built and designed as an intro base so that's going to be a good one if you're sub day 20 or so you're just getting started and you need something to protect yourself from the first few Horde Knights. I think this is definitely going to be a viable option there. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thank you, and we will catch you next time.